So by some Christmas miracle, I was able to finish the mountain of paperwork that I had to do here. I was afraid I wasn't actually going to get to go out and explore and walk around uh, other than the first night, but I did. I got it all done. So while there is still light in the sky, I'll take you guys for a walk around Da Nang, Vietnam. And I went down like I'll go down a bunch of the streets. Uh, but a big thing that we got to check out, obviously, is this is right next to the ocean. So I'm now going to walk down that way. Who knows exactly the order that you'll see this in. It's all very random, but a little inspiration for you. Maybe if you're curious to travel and you've not visited Vietnam, this is an awesome place. So let's say, uh, yeah, we'll just walk around. I'm going to take shots of random stuff and I will uh, not shut up. I'll just keep talking. That's where I had dinner the other day. Some okay seafood. It's a cool place to go though. Okay, we'll go for just a little bit of a close up here. So I wanted to take you here because this is where I was working for the last two days. Just over here. It's called the uh, Lighthouse and it has some of the coolest, coolest inside that you've ever seen. You can see people up in the uh, top there sitting. It's got lightning fast internet. It was really good. So I highly recommend if you find yourself in Da Nang, in Vietnam, that you should visit the lighthouse. This is my friend. I've passed him a few times. Hello. There's a gym not far from here and I walked in the morning and I would always come past him. I really enjoy, I don't know if you can see it either, but there is a ton of color. Like whether it's the flags, uh, but the flowers as well. Super, super colorful. So you, you start with a little yellow down there on the street. You got some beautiful pink, purple over there. It's bright blue. So much color. I don't know if it's a feature specifically to this part of Vietnam, but they also do tons of these lanterns. I mean, not these ones specifically, I just noticed lots and lots of lanterns all over the place. Red, multicolored, everything. Very popular here. The architecture too is really cool. There's a lot of these very uh, thin, tall buildings, which is interesting to see because that's something I usually associate with Japan, right? They have such density that they would build up like that. So to see it here is interesting. They're beautiful homes though. Very well maintained. Everything's very clean. It's, it's a gorgeous area. As you have probably put together right now, it's kind of typical, just tons of green along the streets. Occasionally people who have this, I don't know what it means. I'm not sure what that is. It's gotta be some food or something. More lanterns in the trees. It kind of makes me wonder, like, was this a, uh, some kind of event, special event or something? I'm not, I'm not sure. Yeah, they're just all of them so picturesque, you know, just these trees, kind of lovingly cared for homes. Yeah, here we go, more of these super tall, thin, almost Japanese-esque homes. A beautiful, beautiful community. I think this would be a great place to live if you were Vietnamese. An absolute plethora of hanging baskets. My mom would be jealous. She put a lot of those around our house when I was young. More of these houses and their lovely terraces. More hanging pots. More thin homes that are very tall. There is a style. Got some kids playing badminton in the streets. You gotta love it when you're from a warm climate country. You can do this kind of thing more frequently. How cool is this? This looks like a community garden. Oh, and I love these hats. Old lady, maybe a guy, working out in the garden. Sunflower seeds, flowers. Very cool. It's quite large too. It goes all the way over there too. Beautiful. Just every house. Sec. Hello. 
<laughs> so that's awesome. Those guys, like, that's kind of indicative. You know, you might go a couple of places with your camera and you're going to get different responses to it. But uh, in Vietnam, people seem to just want to be on the camera. They're not concerned about you filming. Although I make every, uh, you know, I make a point of not putting the camera in people's faces. I always say that, but it's just a, a paranoia I have, you know. You don't want to be that guy. Well, so yeah, we're going to just walk down this way. We're going to cross a major street. That's near my hotel. And then we will head down to the beach. You can see that. Oh, there's another thing too. I should watch this. Like, um, so that's very typical of Thailand as well, that people will, I mean, she's just parking her bike, but a lot of people will actually uh, drive on the sidewalks in the city. It's crazy. Another staple, like I never realized, of course, till I came to Southeast Asia, like these little mopeds, this is just the number one transport here. This is what you are gonna use. Uh, it makes sense because then you can use it all year round. It's super affordable, but it's, uh, I think a lot of people on some of these roads are taking their lives into their own hands because it is just so busy and crazy. Another home splendidly decked out in all these beautiful flowers. And you come down here to some yellow. I must be getting older. There's been a lot of flowers in this video. Cute, cute little pink. We go over here, bam. Ooh. So this guy right here, I haven't visited yet. But the price, the prices, the prices look reasonable. 100,000 is about $5. So you're like, okay, that right there is like $15. That's not bad. Yeah. I love me some steak. And a little detail for you in case you want to come here and have a half decent hotel. This guy, that's my hotel. It's called the Legend Boutique Hotel. And it's super affordable. It's got a nice little uh, pool on the rooftop. Very accommodating staff. The breakfast has been very good. <coughs> Highly recommend. Listen to all that beeping. It's just crazy here all the time, nonstop. Nonstop. I just got to be careful as I step out. This is what I'm talking about. I was saying it the other day that you really just, uh, no lights. You just gotta be smart, careful, look both ways. Get across the road before you die. So this is something interesting. You'll have these little ladies that walk around with these fruits and then they just go in and they say, hey, do you want some? And it's like considered completely acceptable. She's got her little bike right there. And so she's like, do you, do you guys want some fruit? You want some fruit? And they'll be like, yay, nay. I had a lady come over the other night and she asked me if I wanted some. That was a first time experience. I declined. I had already eaten. Chill little seats. Grab yourself some banh mi. Delicious. All right, we made it. Or we almost made it. I will cross the street now just over here. We'll go check it out. Not die. All right, here we go. Definitely less busy than Bangkok, I can say that, and that's not surprising at all. Bangkok is a mega city, but you definitely feel it even when these roads look busy. It's like, it's not that bad. I feel much more comfortable crossing here. Success, halfway. You'll see what I mean. I'll do it this way. I'll give you a, a like, shot as I walk out. And this will either be dreadful footage later where you're like, oh, so that's how we got hit. Or I can just demonstrate that as long as you go at the right time, it's, it's not bad at all. Like now. This feels good. All right. Not even a honk. Not even a honk. We are gonna see some cool stuff here. I, I came at night when I first arrived, so I didn't see any of this craziness. They look like they got those, I guess they're fishing boats with those huge nets out the front. I'm, I'm definitely seeing things I have never seen before here. This is very cool. All right. Definitely didn't get sunny days while I was here, and it said that it was supposed to be sunny for the whole time, so I suppose that's the only black mark that I could say, because everything else has been amazing. Absolutely amazing. 
hasn't even rained, so I can't complain. Looking pretty popular out there. Good day for swimming still. And then all these crazy fishing boats. That's so cool. Maybe when we get closer, I can zoom in on them. We'll get a better look. All right, that's the best I can do, which is not that good. But you can kind of see them. It's that green net going off the front of the boat there. I wonder what the method is though, if they just like uh, dip that down and then scoop. I'm curious now, how does this operation go? How does it run? Now, if we come around, cool, we got kites. Oh, the humanity. Cool, is that, no, not the uh, Vietnamese flag. And then you get this, I don't know, like Miami Beach vibes or something. I've never been to Miami, so I have, I have no idea. But you know, you got all these big condos lining, lining the side of the beach. That's it, pretty much. I was here the other night. You can see the that ocean lounge. That was like a banging party over there. Very popular. This is kind of interesting, just actually seeing these in the uh, state of construction, right? Like those are just hollowed out mega structures. There's, there's nothing in them yet. But they will be soon. That's kind of the... Um, let's say that. That is what I see of uh, both Bangkok and of Vietnam. Not that I have a reference point to look back on, but it certainly seems to be just the rate of development is wild. It's crazy. Um, which is probably very exciting for the people here. I think that's cool. This is cool too. All these like seafood places that at the back, I can't quite get it, but you can see it's just all these aquariums of super fresh seafood. So if you're a big fan of seafood, kind of a no-brainer, this is a good place to go. This is cool. This is kind of like what they did at my, um, my building, is they just put so many hanging gardens off the side of the building, and it's, uh, it's... Whoa! Yeah, so I only saw it from the front before, but man, this is one of these ones that has the gardens going up the entire side of the building. Now that is cool. I think that's a great idea. Cool, more little spots you can just chill, order something. I mean, to say that there's a ton of outside seating would be an understatement of the century. More just cool character streets. Here's the problem, of course, the lens can't see everything, can it? it doesn't capture its whole grandeur. Maybe somebody in the comment section. What type of flower is that? It's everywhere here, this uh, beautiful pink, purplish flower. More lanterns. What was I saying about these lanterns? I like them. It's kind of cool. I haven't seen anything like that yet. That kind of, um, you know, that kind of roof. That's cool. So I can see something in the distance here that may be worth our time. Some kind of uh, large dragon. We'll see, I have no idea what we found here. All will be revealed shortly. The detritus of a falling, crumbling society. I, no, I have no idea. Almost looks like it was something used for an event and then, you know, they just dumped it here when they were done. What are you doing? I hope he gets home safe. This doesn't seem like a great place for a little dog to wander around. Oh, Jesus. I don't know, guys. Would you like some peppered steamed beef brain? Or egg steamed beef brain? That is a new adventure for me. All right, I've concluded my walk and we've gone in to get some food. It's very affordable here, it was very good. And I wanted to make sure that I got something authentic, which this is. You know, you don't want to go to Vietnam and not have like the pho and stuff. You want to have a banh mi, you want to have a pho. You want to check out their, uh, you know, their staples. This will be good. I don't know if I said it already, but just to give a sense, if you ever, I was working it out the other day, 20,000 dong. That's the uh, D-O-N-G, the dong, is uh, about one dollar. 
So 100,000 dong is about $5, and that's like the easiest way. As soon as I got the $1, then I was able to like, oh, okay, look around and more accurately, you know, assess what it is that I'm paying for things. Uh, but what we've concluded, we, I mean, the many voices in my head, uh, is that it's incredibly affordable here. For like, if you want to do the fine dining where you're like, I will spend money, then you can do that. That's no problem. But just walking around, it is easy to find things that are like, I think my lunch today, I had a pho, the pho, whatever you want to call it. Big, delicious thing, uh, some extra veggies with it at a drink. And it cost me, I, th I think it was $2 for my, my uh, meal at that time, which is incredible, really. Um, no, it's, it's a real cool part of traveling is the food. Only wish I had more time, obviously. I've been here for four days, and two of those, it was like, go over to the cafe and work, so I wasn't gonna sample a ton of restaurants. Uh, but so far, so good. I think sometimes the humble stuff is some of the best, uh, because just because something is inexpensive doesn't mean that somebody's not investing a great deal in making it well. Uh, whereas I find some of the, uh, like call it luxury dinners I've gone out to, um, now this isn't Vietnam, this would be more like Bangkok, it's like, it's not there. there. There's more quality in like the mom and pop shop than if you go in for like some fancy steak. Now, I know the first thing people would say is like, why are you getting steak in Bangkok? But I want to try at least, you know, get some sense of it. Their chicken though is excellent. I know that's a crazy thing to say. Like, isn't all chicken delicious? There's something especially delicious about Thai chicken. Um, but anyways, we're in Vietnam. Vietnam. It's cool. I'm like the only one in here. Cool little spot, eh? Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's good. I realize I'm looking there. I should be looking at you. Because I'm a fancy man. It's lying. Just lying. Incredibly expensive. But I think this was about a dollar. Less than a dollar. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. Refreshing. Although, you know what I'm really in the mood for? <clears throat> I, uh, I was embattled all last night whether or not I should get it. Fried rice. I just want to get some delicious East Asian fried rice in my life. There's not enough of it. And it's coming soon. I'm very excited. All right, the food has arrived. So let's, why don't I, rather than hold it up, I'm just going to grab you and then hover you over the thing. You fly over it, okay? Come with me. Woo. Look at you go. Look at you fly. Okay. So we got like uh, some banh mi here. And then it comes over into this uh, Vietnamese bone steak, they called it, a couple of eggs there. And then what I'm really excited for, look at this carbohydrates heap. Oh, yes. Yes. So. So. Probably don't want to actually watch me eat, so I'm just going to tuck in. And that's the end of this adventure here. But uh, yeah, thanks for coming with me. As I said, I didn't think I would get a chance to do this. So that was a nice surprise. And I hope you've enjoyed this little mini tour of a beautiful place in Vietnam. Don't do anything they tell you to do at the end of YouTube videos. Okay, I know I said that you don't want to watch me eat, but I've just taken the first bite of this fried rice. And this is unquestionably the most delicious fried rice I've ever had in my entire life. I'm not kidding. It is perfect flavoring, crispy, fresh, amazing. I got it. I got one of the priceless food experiences in a foreign country. I'm so happy. This is unbelievable.